video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on your post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video. I post every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Thank you for 13 subscribers. Please make sure to get me to 1,000 subscribers. Let's get started with today's video. So today, I'm going to be doing a room, a bedroom tour. Because you guys have seen, like, bits and pieces of my room, but, like, not the major things that I wanted to show you. Well, I wouldn't really say... I mean, when I mean major, like, the big details of my room. So, yeah, and I'm also going to be showing you at the end a bonus footage of what my favorite outfit, winter outfit to wear is to school. That I got in 8th grade after Christmas. Well, the pants I did, but, yeah. So, um, I don't know what to start with. I'm going to, I guess I'll be doing my bookshelf. Sorry, I don't really have good camera work, but I'm going to try the best I can. So, um, here's my bookshelf. These are, this is, I like to read about the paranormal. This is, I don't want to talk about this because this is, woo, for, um, something I have going on that I don't really want to share with you guys because it's embarrassing. This is for something personal. And then, um... This is about King. It's supposed to be down here with all my history books, but I decided to put it up here. And these are historical fiction, but they're about like events that happened in our early, in our country's early history, like during the Revolutionary War and after, a little bit after. This section is my middle school certificate because I graduated like a couple weeks ago. This is, I went to Mount Rushmore in South Dakota and the end of July of 2019, I was 12. And then this is the um, July of the end of July in 2018, I was 11, and I went to Virginia. I went to Monticello, Mount Vernon, Colonial Williamsburg, and I also went to DC, Washington, DC for my second time. I really love Virginia. It's so beautiful. You should have a chance to go. This is the home of Thomas Jefferson. Mount Vernon is the home of George Washington. This is the back. And here I got my Thomas Jefferson bobblehead, and I got that from the Boston Tea Party Museum gift shop. Because back last year in 2020, when everything was like shut down in July, well, nothing was really like shut down, but the museums were because of social distancing and like pool, public pools. And this is my Harry Potter, my whole Harry Potter collection, something I don't want to show you because that's private. And then... Who Was Books and then I Survived. I've really been obsessed with 9-11 lately, so I want to read about that. It's about a person who survived, who claims to survive all the bad historical events that have happened in world history and in our country's history. So that's... So the next section, I have my Day of Silence for middle school and my two things I did in 8th grade for art that I got to take home. And then this is my bestie and I. We were celebrating her 15th birthday this year. A day, we both have ours in March, except her, mine is in early March and hers is like almost to April. So that's, and then this is my fifth grade yearbook, got for graduation. And yeah. All right, next thing. Um, these, this is my closet, my extra pillow, my flute stuff and my robot. I got for like my 11th or 10th birthday and my Santa hats and my all my flute music and my singing music and then here are my shoes and my school my school stuff well this is like my travel backpack when I go to like South Carolina and stuff and <coughs> excuse me and then this is my um school bag so yeah half of the room tour done my two windows that look out to the front of the condo complex, the side where I live on, with the mailboxes and the dumpster, and then there's, like, the fire alarm. Because there's an ever a fire, you pull it. Do not pull a fire alarm unless it's an actual fire because you'll get in trouble. Anyway, so, continuing. This is my, um, hang-around chair. When I was, I got this monkey for New Year's. Like, one of my friends bought it for me, who used to be my friend. And then this is the M&M. &M. When I was like three, four, and five, my favorite candy used to be M&M's, and I used to say n and because I couldn't pronounce it. I mean, I still do like M&M's, but that was like my favorite candy back then. And yeah, 
So that's that. And then I'm going to show you my bed. This is my bed. This is from the first Frozen movie in 2013. I still like it because of the music and the princesses. And I like it because it's like comedy and it's something like that. When you stress, you can watch to like have a good laugh. And then this is my twin bed. And that's my pillowcase. I'm not going to explain to you the reason why it's all white. It's embarrassing. Well, the pillowcase is all white because it's, I don't want to get into that right now. Here's my desk and flashcards I made from the last video from the States and Capitals. And make sure you go check that video out. This is my globe I got for Christmas of 2017 when I was 10. I was in the fifth grade, about ready to go to sixth grade. And I'm going to go into ninth grade at the end of August. And here are my pencils I will use to do my homework. And then my dresser. So I have these two t-shirts I wear to bed. This is my grandpa's present. He, he was born on the 5th of July, the day after the 4th. But we'll get into that later on after I do this. And these are, I wear these with these pants if they're in the winter if I go to bed in the winter and these short these are for fall and maybe spring and definitely winter and these are for like maybe spring and definitely summer so when I go to bed I also wear these cute um these are for winter snowflake socks that my mother gave me furry socks because I love to keep my feet warm especially in the summer this is my American flag it's not a leotard, it's a, um, it's not a gymnastics leotard or a ballet leotard, it's a bathing suit, because for those of you who, like, have gone to school with me, you know I really like history, I really love the American Revolution and stuff like that, and that's why I have that, all that stuff. This is my lamp, right here. My grandmother gave me that, like, over a year ago. The cool thing about that is, is I don't know if you can see, but there's a little slot in there that you can use to um, charge your phone, but you have you can't plug the whole, like the thing that you would put into the outlet, you can't plug that in, but you can plug the cord in, and you have to, it had, the light has to be on in the room to be charging. And if the, if the power goes out, like I've been in here like almost two years and the power's gone out like twice, but if the power goes out, then that will not be charged. So your phone will go dead. So make sure you have a plugged-in phone if you ever want to get one of those. And I'm sure... I don't know where my mother... My my mother, excuse me. My grandmother got them, but I like it. So I'm going to go back to my grandfather's present. So this is what I got him. It's wrapped. I don't want to unwrap it. Because I'm going to out to dinner with them on Saturday. And I'm going to visit them at their house for my grandfather's 77th birthday. And also, yeah, he was born after the 4th of July, but the day after, he was born July 5th, not July 4th. But he really likes, um, he likes patriotic things too. He was in the army. He was like in the Vietnam Wars. He was in the Vietnam War, so, yeah. This is my corkboard. It this is a calendar and other stuff. I'm not gonna show because it's personal. But and it's embarrassing and I don't wanna tell you that. I don't wanna tell you about it. But um yeah. If you guys follow me on Instagram for those of you guys who follow me on Instagram, I don't post anything personal. I just post stuff that I'm proud of or that I like, like history, obviously. And, yeah. Oh, and this is my desk. I sit there and I do my homework. During the school year, I do my homework. That's where I do my homework. And I'm going to show you my favorite outfit to wear during the winter to school. I like this sweater dress from Old Navy. It's very cute. Not sweater dress. Sweater shirt from Old Navy. It's very cute. And then I have these khaki pants from Old Navy. And here are the pockets. Pockets. And I like wearing it because it's very grown up. So, 
that's all for today's video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can notify when I post a new video. Thanks for 13 subscribers. Please give me 20k subscribers. Um, uh, yeah. I post every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday.